So next up is Intonso, and Intonso is famous for Edinkra symbols um, printing. Again, um, first let's talk about Edinkra, the word Edinkra. Edinkra actually means farewell. Edinkra. Edin is a name. But when you are giving somebody in Kra, is you are bidding the person farewell. So mostly um, what you do, Edinkra cloth that you would see mostly previously were worn during funerals. But these days it has changed. And then Edinkra also is the symbols and motives designed in the Asante culture that has very philosophical meaning and interpretation and is another form of language for the people in that certain Edinkra symbols could communicate just like um, I told you Kente is a, is a medium of communication Edinkra symbols is also a medium of, of communication the symbols are actually derived by the community and the society in which or the environment in which the people would live in so they are gotten from their relationship with the animals in the animal kingdom trees plants so they derive meaning from all these things that they find around themselves the first indica symbol that was put out is actually in a circle form i go a kid to the back okay <laughs> <laughs> so the first Edinkra symbol uh, was in a circle form and spiral and it's called Edinkra Hene, the chief of Edinkra. Each symbol has meaning. So the first symbol is called leadership. So any Edinkra Hene stands for leadership. There is no Edinkra symbol that does not have a name or a meaning. And it doesn't have only one meaning, it can have multiple meaning. And a symbol can also have a phrase or a proverb. So the designs and the motives are very proverbial and very philosophical. So in that, for example, which one which is very common, Sankofa. It's a bird who is looking back and it has an egg in the mouth, tries to take it. Now the bird is a very important thing because especially if you're looking at the hen. And if he goes for it and remembers the chicks are back. He goes back to look for the chicks and then get them and go go along with them. And so we say that Amamre um, Yentonchene, the local language, which means you don't throw your culture away. And if you if you remember that you've lost something, you can always go back for it. So even in uh, in a gathering where there are certain protocols to be made and it, is, it has been skipped, they can always go back. They will say Amamre Yentonchene. They'll go back, perform that protocol before they will proceed. Amamre Yantuntune. Amamre. Yes, Yantuntune. We don't throw it away. We don't throw your culture and traditions away. So these are some of the things. And then also, there is a particular symbol um, that I saw on the back of Daniel, your wife's, the shirt she's wearing. Um, at the back, the t shirt back. It's, a, it's two symbols in one, if you notice it, it's a Dinkra symbol. Um, the middle one is the kind of a spider, and then the one inside kind of a box is um, a house. It's called Feinkra. She, yes, she's standing up for you to take a look at. Oh, yes, that's it. Oh, that's called what? Yes, so it's called Anansi. Yes, so the middle, the symbol in the middle is spider. And then the one in the box, which is inside, is a house. And that symbol in the middle, the outside, the house, stands for safety and security. Yes. Thank you. And and you know the Anansi. You a lot of people will hide about that. You suppose from the Caribbean. You've heard of the Anansi. Yeah. So tell you that where your roots come from is right here. The Anansi is. Uh, a thing that stands for every man. So in our folklore, in our folk stories, we mostly talk or talk talk about the stories of the Anansi. And any story that you will start here, anytime you want to start a story, you have to proceed with Anansi. Probably the characters may not be Anansi, but you have to proceed with Anansi, which 
they will say, Anansi Sem Tisil, says Wala, which means the stories of Anansi, if it fits you, use it to change yourself. Yes. So anytime you start any story, so most of the stories that are told are based on the animal kingdom and the people. And Anansi in a character represents every man. So if um, an Anansi also stands for the fact that he's very um, wise and but cunning. So wise and cunning. So and very smart too. So most of the Anansi stories will always depict Anansi being wise, but at the end, because of his selfishness, because of his greed, was caught and he had to pay the price for it. So if it fits you, then you have to change your character. So so most of these stories, so then all these Edinka um, symbols are very, very philosophical. So the village you're going is actually one of the homes that have been doing the Edinka motifs printing on the fabric for over years. And it started with what the person is doing now, his father's father started it. As far as honor to, to his son, his sisters, his mother, all of them engage in that activity. And here, what they do is they actually prepare the natural dye, which they use, traditionally, which is used for the motif printing. In that the dye is gotten from the back of a tree. You know what the back of a tree is? So the tree, they scrape the back. Yes, yeah, so the tree is gotten from the northern region of Ghana. And then the mother actually and the sisters are the ones who actually travel all the way from here to the north will take us about roughly like six to eight hours and so the mother travels sometimes spends days there and then she goes to collect and bring them and then they do a process to extract the dye from the back of the tree and that dye they use it to print the design on the fabric so people from everywhere and mostly people in kumasi when they want authentic a dinkra um, cloth or materials would come to Intonso to buy it. Yes, because they do it, they know how to do it. So that is where we are going. And so when we get there, you have the opportunity to see how they extract it. And, and also, they are already made ones that you can buy. But then if you want to make your own design, pick your own symbols and use it based on what you feel or connection you have that you can pick it and then he will guide you through how to make it but you just buy a strip of kente you know kente i don't know if the guy was explaining to you the kente making the kentes are woven in strips and then they are joined together to make a big piece so this one you can buy just one strip and then you can print your um, eating craft symbols in them and then you can keep it because this is my handy made okay so let's talk a, a bit about the symbols so there's one other symbol um, that stands for um, it's a very it's a very big long face. It's called Futum Futum um, for now Futum. It's a crocodile that's sharing two crocodiles sharing one stomach. It's a symbol of unity and diversity. Um, this is how it means. So two crocodiles sharing one stomach, but when they get food. A lot of them struggle to, to get the food, but they forget that it's going into one stomach. So there's no need for us to struggle. We need to be united because we all come from one person. We're all made from one people. So we shouldn't be fighting one another. So that is what it stands for. That's one of the things. Two crocodiles sharing one stomach. So the Asantas have developed over years and over centuries symbols. So every now and then, there are new symbols that I derive. Even for the Sankofa that has the bird looking back, they have the one that is like a, a heart form. It's actually, they've coined it and two of the birds joined together so it forms like a heart form. It's also another Sankofa symbol. And they, but they have one, a symbol that's dedicated just for love. They have that. So they have different unique symbols that they use to interpret. And you, will, you have noticed that most of the buildings and the houses have these symbols on the wall just to let you know where the symbols come from. And then we are in the heart of the Asante people in the heart of the Dinkra community. And interestingly, other ethnic groups also have other symbols that they use. So when the story, the people from the West say that the Africans didn't have any form of writing, they have any form of that, 
that's not true. Yeah. We always had a medium of communication, so many ways, and then also symbols and motifs as a form of written documents and stuff to let people know what the community and the village and everything is about. So this is about the Dinka symbols. Alright, any question? Yes. Inobi. Um, for me, what I have seen is only Ghana. Yes, but now it's, it's been spread around. But I know it in crash symbols. The word it in crack is actually Ghana. I can't. Yeah, I'm surprised the Chinese haven't uh, copied all of that whole <laughs> setup. Yeah. Yeah. So, is, yes. Wait, well, that's what I know it's all in Ghana. Yes. No, I haven't heard. Okay. There, are, there are a lot of Anansi stories. Okay. It's a game. I think uh, all schools are playing games. So it's a handball. Are we going in the same direction we came? No, we are not. It's a different direction. <laughs> Man.